discuss about the port address. As we know, user processes runs in the application layer. They interact with the network system. So, they send data to the transport layer and they receive data from the transport layer. Port number is the 16-bit number that is used by the transport layer to identify the individual processes. So this 16-bit number is called the port number. So port number or the port address works in the transport layer to identify single user processes. In TCP IP model, transport layer uses 16-bit number to identify the user processes. That means we have total 2 to the power 16 port numbers. 2 to the power 16 means 65536. That means it ranges from 0 to 65535. Now, this total range can be divided into three categories. Well-known ports ranges from 0 to 1023. These are called well-known ports because user know what are the services available on that particular ports. For example, if we consider HTTP, it works in port number 80. Similarly, if we consider FTP, FTP data works in port number 20, FTP control works in port number 21. So we know the services available in the port number 20 and the 21. So all the ports are used for specific services. These are controlled and assigned by IANA. Registered ports ranges from 1024 to 49151. IANA never controls these ports. Various companies use these ports for their own services. For example, 1102 that is used by Adobe Server 1. IANA do not control these ports, but they list the services. Now consider the private ports. It ranges from 49152 to 65535. These ports are normally used by the client program. So that's why these are called the client ports also. These are also called the ephemeral ports or the short term ports because client uses these ports. They establish the connection. Data communication takes place and after that they close the connection. After that these ports are free. So that's why these ports are also called dynamic port because after using they can use these ports for different purpose so all the ports are classified into well-known ports registered port and the private ports when tcp uses this port we'll say this is called the tcp port when udp will use these ports on the time we'll say this is the udp port